Giant cell tumours of bone tend to occur in the third and fourth decades, that's in the 20s and 30s. They are more frequent in females than males, and they occur in the epiphyses of the long bones, the distal femur being the most common site, followed by proximal tibia, distal radius, and the sacrum. Between 1 and 9% of morphologically benign giant cell tumours of bone may metastasize, usually to the lung, and giant cell tumour of bone may be associated with Paget disease. Giant cell tumours of bone may present in a number of ways, including pain, limited movement at the nearest joint to the tumour, a mass and pathological fracture. Radiologically, giant cell tumours of bone are osteolytic, poorly defined, expansile and destructive lesions. Grossly they are soft, dark brown and hemorrhagic with cystic areas, there may be yellow areas and the tumours may destroy the cortex. So this is a giant cell tumour of the distal femur and it has the typical gross appearance where it is expansile with cystic and hemorrhagic areas. Histologically, giant cell tumours of bone, as you would expect, contain lots of giant cells, and these are osteoclast type cells with 20 to 30 nuclei, but these are not the neoplastic cells despite the name. So the term osteoclastoma is a bad name for a giant cell tumour because although there are lots of osteoclast-like cells, these are not the neoplastic cells. The neoplastic cells are the background cells that are round, oval or spindle mononuclear cells. They are biologically similar to osteoblasts and they lack a tipia and there may be mitotic figures but these are normal. This is a low power view of a giant cell tumour of bone and it is obvious that there are two cell types, sheets of these mononuclear cells, with giant cells scattered amongst them. On higher power you can see lots of multinucleate giant cells that are fairly evenly spread throughout the tumour. And on an even higher power you can see that the multinucleate giant cells have are the centrally situated nuclei 20 to 30 per cell and the background cells that are the tumour cells are sheets of spindle shaped or ovoid cells lacking a tipia.